Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I went ahead and flushed my system and just wanted to make a quick little video on how to burp the system afterwards. So for your 0304 Cobras, and this should apply to your 0304 Mach 1s as well, since we have a very similar setup, what you're gonna do, if you've gone ahead and flushed your coolant, you're gonna have an empty radiator, so go ahead and pop this hose off that goes over into the crossover. Fill about a gallon from there, that should fill up your radiator. You'll see the level in the reservoir come up. Once the reservoir is full, go ahead and cap it off, make sure that hose is closed as well. Pop the little bung off of there on the crossover tube that goes into the block. Put a, put a funnel on there and go ahead and fill from there until it's you know a little full. Once it's not going down anymore, go ahead and sh start the car. You let the car run up to temperature, it'll start going down once you shut it off because the thermostat will have opened. So you see all the bubbles coming out right there? It's bubbling up. That's air purging out of the system. So it's real simple, real easy to do this. Our systems take about four gallons of coolant. So I already knew I had two gallons of distilled water throughout the system from the flushes I did. So I was able to just put two gallons of coolant in there and I had to add a little water. Um, but yeah, so it's real simple, real easy, not that hard to do this. Um, a little quick tip, the plug that closes off the crossover tube, put some anti-seize on this because sometimes these get stuck in there. The anti-seize should help because you don't, they did a really poor job making this. You don't want to break off your socket in there and then have a hard time getting it off. Some companies make aftermarket ones with like a little nut welder to the top. You can get that if you can find it. Not really that necessary, just put some anti-seize on there and always make sure this gasket's in good condition because just hand tight, you don't have to over tighten it. That little gasket does a great job of doing what it's supposed to do. So once the car reaches temp, you can determine that by looking at the gauge on the dashboard. You can go ahead and shut it off. The thermostat should have opened. So pretty much let it run for like somewhere between 10 to 20 minutes. I like to go for about 15 minutes and then shut it off. Once you shut it off, you'll see all that go down. Uh, once the car cools down, you might see the level in the reservoir drop. Just top it off and then you're good. So yeah, it's real simple. Just wanted to make a quick little thing, nothing too detailed. Uh, I don't see too many videos out there that are great with this. I mean, Danny Johnson's got a video and a couple other guys, but I see a lot of people leave this cap open. Don't do that with this cap open as you're filling from up there the level in here rises so again hose off fill the radiator with about a gallon you'll see the level rising in here so once that's about level or if it's coming out of there put the hose back on if you got to finish filling up in here go ahead and then put the cap on if you already have that cap off go ahead and throw a funnel in there start filling from there once it's kind of not going down start the car run it up to temp shut it off that's about 15 minutes close that off let the car come down, cool down, and then you'll see that the level in here probably dropped. Go ahead and top that back off and you're done. So that's it, guys. Feel free to leave any comments if you have any questions. Remember to like the video. Peace.